So in today's video, we got YNW Melly, we got Kodak Black's lawyer. So if you haven't hit that notification bell or that like button, make sure that you do if you enjoy the content. So we got on um, YNW Juvie's father, he ended up doing an interview and he was speaking about, you know, a lot of the situations. But one thing he was, you know, fed up about is a lot of people saying, you know, free YNW Melly. He don't like that after, you know, something happened to his, you know, son. So he ended up, you know, even saying, you know, F you to his own daughter because she, you know, saying the same thing. She's saying, you know, free Melly. So he just, you know, feeling some type of way about that but he also ended up talking about the situation of the money you know everybody was talking about that you know when the situation actually happened they was trying to figure out you know what's the motive why would he actually you know try to kill his best friends and a lot of it you know goes to you know the ynw brand and you know them allegedly trying to sell it and then get money for it but you know they were saying that ynw mully didn't want none of them to get money you know but himself so they was just you know supposed to split it so that was one of the reasons and then he ended up bringing up a you know reason that i didn't even know about and then two days before it was said that you know sex chaser ended up knocking out melly go so you got a situation with the money and then all of a sudden that you know they fighting back and forth and then now they act like they're cool and then the whole situation happened two days later that's what i'm thinking and so you think that melly wanted a bigger cut of that then i think melly didn't want to give them guys nothing he wanted to be the only one to shine was there any sign of bad blood before your son's life was taken and before Anthony was killed, or was there any tension there that you knew of? Not, not with Juvie, not with Chris, but, um, you know, you heard things about him and um, Anthony getting into, like, uh, disputes about money over, over certain situations, and they got in a fight prior to that, and they said, like, you know the story that they say um, Sack beat him up and knocked his goals out in front of his girlfriend and, like, two days later i think that's when the incident happened but to be honest i didn't really hear that story until now and that's you know real crazy and that could be a motive to actually say you know he actually did it but at the end of the day it's all alleged and then you know the situation with call that lawyer call that lawyer ended up speaking on it and he was on the case you know previously and he ended up saying i think the case has built in reasonable doubt and i saw a lot of the discovery while i was on the case like i said this will be a tough case for the prosecution so he's saying it's gonna be a tough case for the other side and that's you know real crazy because a lot of people see it the opposite way they felt like Melly gonna have a hard chance but he was on the case he understand it and it seemed like the prosecution got a weak case but based on what y'all saw so far y'all let me know in the comment section on whether you think YNW Melly gonna beat the case and especially seeing that video in the beginning a lot of people saying you know he actually did it when he was trying to um blow the kiss and he was praying but y'all let me know in the comment section what you think about it make sure you guys like comment subscribe hit that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video